What's up YouTube, it's iPhone Ty, and today I'm going to be doing an updated video on the Unlock iPhone 4S uh, version 5.1.1 or lower. Um, I did already do a video, however there is a process that has changed as far as a repo goes. There was a previous repo that the repo source went down, so I've got a new repo source. I figured I'd just go ahead and redo the entire video. Now in my previous video I did go ahead and update the... Uh, the description to let you guys know what the new repo is but I know a lot of you guys don't actually read the descriptions so I'll just go ahead and do this again but I will say right now um, these type of unlocks are always subject to change and I do stay on top of all of the unlocks that I do and all the new unlocks and everything that comes out for iPhones so uh, be sure to check the uh, description anything that's important I will go ahead and put right in the description to let you guys know if, uh, just so that you're not running into any troubles down the road um, but anyways you will need three things in order to unlock your iPhone 4s the first thing obviously is you will need a jailbroken iPhone 4s it doesn't matter if it's GSM or CDMA and it doesn't matter what carrier it is, is excuse me it's originally unlocked to um, this one that I have right here is originally a sprint and I'll go ahead and show you here in the settings it's version 5.1.1 Sprint, um, and its baseband is 2.0.12. Currently, this is the most up-to-date software, so this will work for anybody. Uh, in the future, Apple may release a new version that this won't work on, uh, but we'll see when the time comes. Um, so anyways, the second thing that you will need is your 128K 4G micro SIM. Um, this is my T-Mobile 128K 4G micro. Uh, now, these ones right here at the bottom, and I'll see if I can get this to focus in here. They say TM9190 on them, and you can tell that it's 128K SIM card by uh, actually looking right underneath the uh, metal connectors. It says TM9190. Um, if it says that, then it is the correct SIM card. You will need the uh, 128K 4G micro SIM card for this to work. If it's an older 64K, it's uh, going to have issues and it might not connect. So just make sure that you have the right one. I picked this one up at T-Mobile. Usually they're 10 bucks. Sometimes you get them for free. Depends on who you talk to, but. Uh, is, this is vital. Uh, the next thing that you will need is your RSM3. Um, now I've tried the black RSM3s, I've tried the gold RSM3s. They both work, they seem to work fine. Um, I, I don't really have any preference one over the other. Um, I, I have tried the RSM5. Actually I've got one I believe right here. Um, right here. The RSM5s I found don't actually work on the 5.1.1 so I would avoid those unless you're version 5.0 or 5.0.1. Um, but anyway, so you will need this as well. Uh, so the first thing, again, we do need to be jailbroken. This is already jailbroken. Um, I jailbroke it beforehand. I don't, I don't want to waste any of you guys' time. But uh, if you don't know how to, I'll go ahead and put in the description how to uh, jailbreak it. But essentially, you go to um, greenpoison.com. The last O on poison is a zero. And then from there, you'll see a link on the left-hand side for the 5.1.1 jailbreak. Um, once you've installed that onto your computer, you plug in your iPhone, you hit jailbreak, and then you just wait until it finishes. Once you're jailbroken, you're going to go ahead and select Cydia. Um, I am a user, so I'm going to select user. And then we have to add two repo sources. So you're going to click manage sources, and then you're going to hit edit up here at the top and then add. Now the first repo source, uh, this is the same one as the last jailbreak video that I had put up, uh, but it's the v.backspace, so b-a-c-k-s-p-a-c-e dot j-p forward slash repo. So I'll give you a minute to go ahead and take a look at that. So v.backspace dot j-p forward slash repo. Once you have that put into your address bar, you're going to go ahead and click add source, which will bring you to this black screen. Um, once this is finished, it'll say return to Cydia down here at the bottom. Sometimes you do have to install this twice. I, I have noticed uh, sometimes it doesn't fully install the packages the first time, but if you try it a second time, it will show up and your packages will all be there. Um, so again, we'll just give this a moment here to, uh, to fully install these packages. And then it will, again, it'll say uh, return to city as soon as this is finished. Okay, so I did get a couple of these um, messages here. I've been getting this lately. It doesn't make a difference. Um, the package is still installed properly. So um, if you're getting this one, it says like failed to fetch. And then it says um, some index files have failed to download. They have been ignored. Um, just go ahead and ignore that. That's fine. But uh, let's give this just a moment here should finish. 
If it doesn't finish here in just a second, I'll go ahead and home out and try going into Cydia again because sometimes that works. Sometimes it gets stuck. Uh, but let's go ahead and home button out. We'll hit Cydia. It'll reload here, and we should see the backspace repos up here at the top. Now, when you click on backspace repos, the second one down is the comm center patch. You want to go ahead and select that and then click install and then confirm. Um, again, this will uh, go ahead and uh, install the uh, comm center patch to your iPhone 4S. After it's done, it's going to prompt us to return to Cydia down at the bottom. Um, once we do that, we need to go back to our Manage and Sources page. So let's see right here, and we're going to add one more. Now this is different from the last one. Before the we did an IG Live, um, but unfortunately that server's been down for about a month now. I'm not quite sure what's going on, but I do have an alternate repo source which works great, um, and that one is uh, it's going to be Cydia C Y D I A dot my repo space m y r e p o s p a c e dot com forward slash polysony so p o l y s o n y just like this so uh cydia dot my repo space dot com forward slash polysony and then once you have that in your address bar you're going to go ahead and click add source Again, it'll take you to this black screen that's going to go ahead and install or uh, add those sources to your Cydia. Once this is finished, it will uh, take you back and give you the option to um, return to Cydia. This one does take a little bit longer to download. I know there's quite a few packages in this in this repo, so we'll give this just a moment here um, while, this, uh, while this installs. So um, we'll give this just a moment. Okay, so now that this is completed, we're going to go ahead and click Return to Cydia. You'll see that the Poly Sony uh, My Repo Space uh, repos or repository has been added to your Cydia. You're going to go ahead and click on that. And then up top, you see the 5.0.1 version and the 5.1.1. If you're on 5.1.1, go ahead and click on that one. Obviously, if you're on a lower version, you go ahead and click on the one below that. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and click Install. And then confirm and this one goes by rather quickly so we'll give this just a moment here and it's going to uh, prompt us to reboot the phone um, now once we reboot it we're going to go ahead and take our 128k 4g micro sim and our r sim 3 and place them together on the tray like so and then we're going to go ahead and place them into the phone sometimes it's a little bit of a tight fit um, you want to make sure that it's properly in there. If it slips off, I do have a video to show you guys um, how to easily get that out uh, just in case um, without actually having to tear down the entire phone. So if that does by chance get stuck, which usually it doesn't, but it has happened before, um, go ahead and try that. But we're going to go ahead and wait until this uh, loads up. Now, if you're... Uh, if you're on a GSM phone, an AT&T or anything like that, if it's originally GSM, you would go ahead and start from here. You don't necessarily have to be jailbroken in order for this to work. Um, but essentially, we're going to go into settings and then scroll down in your first settings menu to phone. And then here you'll see SIM applications. Now, I know some of you guys have had issues with the SIM applications. If SIM pin shows up but SIM applications isn't there, give it a moment. You may have to reboot it. If SIM pin doesn't show up and you can't get it to show up or recognize that there's a SIM card in there, then you've got a faulty RSIM. I do always recommend buying more than one RSIM for that reason so that you have backups just in case. Um, but let's go ahead and click that. Um, again, this one's originally a Sprint iPhone 4S, so we're going to select US Sprint which is US SPR right here. Um, down at the bottom, you've got uh, US Verizon, and then you've got US AT&T, and then just a ton of other, um, a ton of other original carriers. Uh, but we'll go ahead and select that, and then the next thing that we're gonna do is shut down the phone.
Okay, and sometimes you can get this to work without actually shutting down the phone, but I have noticed that oftentimes you have more issues with, uh, with the automatic um, activation mode. Apple implemented an automatic activation mode when there's an invalid uh, carrier SIM inside the phone. It'll kick you back and try and make you reactivate it. I have noticed that by shutting the phone off and turning it back on, a lot of the times you can avoid that, but I'm also going to show you guys uh, another method um, to bypass that. Uh, just in case it does try to kick you back into activation required. I know sometimes it can be kind of annoying, but let's go ahead and slide to unlock here. And uh, in order to bypass that later on, if it does happen, we're going to start our voice memos. I'll go ahead and hit pause, it's just so it's not recording me the entire time. Um, but then at this point, all we have to do is wait for our bars of service. It does take sometimes up to, um, I've seen it take anywhere between one and five minutes. Uh, but typically within 45 seconds to a minute and depending on where you're at. Now again, if you're using a 64K SIM at this point, it'll just continue to say searching and it will never actually connect. So make sure that you do have that 128K 4G micro SIM um, in order for this to work. Now with my last video, um, I had uh, feedback from, I mean, it's, it's been viewed, I think, over 100,000 times now, and it's been viewed in over 170 countries in the world. I've had positive feedback from all around the world in all different countries, all different carriers. Uh, this does work for any iPhone 4S version 5.1.1, regardless of what the original carrier is, and it will unlock to any GSM carrier. But we can see here now that I've got, uh, got T-Mobile. So we'll go ahead and kill the voice memo. I'll just do this and delete it. Whoops. Okay. So now I've got full usage of my phone. If we go ahead and check, I'll, I'll go ahead and make a phone call so that you guys can see that it does connect to T-Mobile. Um, let's see. Here we go. We'll dial 611, which is their customer service. I've got it on speakerphone. Okay, so at this point, your uh, voice data, internet, everything should work. Um, you may have to turn on your, uh, if, especially for T-Mobile, you may have to um, turn on, let's see, a network, and then turn on data roaming in order to get Edge to show up. If you're unlocking a Sprint phone for AT&T, you may have to set up your APN settings. I did do a troubleshooting guide, which I actually show you how to do that in the easiest way. I've got a super easy way um, to set up your APN settings if you need to do that. Um, guy, again, guys, if you have any issues, uh, I have set up tr troubleshooting guides in my uh, in my videos. So just go ahead and try and find your um, your issue that you're having and then use those troubleshooting guides. Uh, if you do have any questions, feel free to comment or email. I try to get back to everybody. Um, again, don't forget to like and subscribe my videos. I'll try to keep them coming for you guys. And if you have um, any suggestions for future videos, then uh, go ahead and, and uh, shoot me an email or a comment and let me know and I'll see what I can do for you. Um, thanks again, guys, and uh, happy unlocking.